Lesson 8.1 Inlet Wave Theory Impulse Wave The impulse wave consists of five waves. The first, third, and fifth ones are called the pulse waves, while the second and fourth are correctional, respectively. In wave analysis, each wave has certain characteristics. The height of the wave is the most important among them. The wave height is measured from the minimum low to the highest high and is projected onto the vertical axis. The radio wave sizes to each other often takes values from Fibonacci numbers. Let's consider the characteristics of waves in the upward impulse. For the downward impulse, the rules remain the same. Let's start with wave 1. This wave is characterized by an initial impetus. Traders, by assets, the price begins to rise. Wave 2. The trader's confidence in the continued growth of their trading instrument is falling, so they start selling previous purchased assets. The market goes into the corrective movement. Typically, the price drops within 38 and 60% of the wavelength of the first wave. Sometimes the price can reach wave once minimum level but it cannot get lower. Wave 3 Typically the longest in the cycle, a profit generation wave. It is characterized by the entry of the bulk of traders into the market, a strong price growth, and significant increase in volumes. Usually wave 3 is 160-260% to 260 or more of wave 1's height. The end of wave 3 should always be above the maximum of wave 1. Wave 3 can never be the shortest among the impulse waves. Wave 4 Often wave 4 is difficult to identify. Some traders who receive enough profit close their positions. The rest remain in the market hoping for further growth. Wave 4 is often long and usually does not exceed 50% of wave 3's height. The end of wave 4 can never be lower than the maximum wave 1. Wave 5 The final wave of the pattern. The market is overbought, characterized by rising prices and falling volumes, divergence. Typically, wave 5 ends above wave 3. The height should be at least 60% of wave 1's height, usually between 60 and 160% of the height from the beginning of the wave movement till the end of wave 3. If wave 5 ends at the top of wave 3 or lower, then it is called a truncated wave. To summarize, we outline the most important rules for confirming the wave model of an impulse. Wave 2 cannot fall below the minimum of wave 1. The end of wave 3 cannot be lower than the maximum wave 2. Wave 3 cannot be the shortest of the impulse waves. The end of wave 4 cannot be lower than the maximum of wave 1.